Okay guys, good day today to start off and put this rear rack on. Pre-marked where I want to do the uh, drilling. So I've got no choice with this particular rack. I've got to go straight into the uh, rear mud guards. Do a centre punch on it first. Do a 5mm hole in the back. Like so. Straight in there. Then I'll line it up and make sure everything's right before I put that front one in. Because it's at about the right angle I need it. Once the seat's on it, it'll look pretty good. I don't think I've got a centre punch to kick it off with, but I should have a roof nail or something like that I can use. I always put a block of wood up underneath. That's a 3v2. Just to make sure nothing goes wrong. A roof nail. Like so. A new drill bit. I'm going to use it on slow speed. We're on position one. There you are. As that went well, got the first hole drill there. I've got these special bullet bolts which I'm going to put down into it. I've got the clearance under there to be able to bolt it. In the back section there I got a double layer of steel and it was a little bit harder to get through on that one but this one here breathes through quite easy. Maybe a little bit too much on this one. This one's a bit tighter but That'll be okay. Yeah, so all I've got to do now is get that bit of timber out. But what I'm going to show you now is here at the back of this plate here. Normally, if you just put this straight down on here, metal to metal, you're going to have trouble with it rubbing later on. If it scratches, you know, compared if you do a neat job here to start with, later on it'll just cut the scratches and it'll have scratches everywhere. So what I do, I use a, uh, a padded 3M double-sided tape. So I've taped it on one side to the unit. And this side here, I'll just leave it bare. I won't bother um, ripping the tape off that one to get extra suction here. So I've just done that to both ends. So that now when I put it down, it's sort of, you know, it's not liable to get it there and gouge marks all through the paintwork. Nice and sturdy. I've got bullet bolts in it there. So they look pretty smart in it too. So if you look at the back this way. Over here. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Almost matches that sporty exhaust. So anyway, once again, thanks for tuning in, taking a look. If you like what you see and you'd like to come back and subscribe, please do. Or just come back, give it a look and give it a thumbs up if you like it. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you later.